Okay, everybody, today's video is on Nucli. We're going to go ahead and install Nucli. We're going to talk a little bit about this. And I will have videos after this video that I'm going to be making this week to explore the capabilities of Nucli, both from a pen, ten, excuse me, pen testing standpoint as well as a bug bounty standpoint. So why don't we go ahead and just discuss a little bit about why Nucli. And it's becoming a lot more popular in bug bounty um, uh, programs. A lot of hackers, uh, ethical hackers, I'd like to say, are using it um, because of its extensive template capabilities. So by modifying templates or even using existing templates that are available in the fast-growing community of people that are um, creating templates and then go ahead and they um, upload their templates for others to use it really has grown fast and the fact that Nucli is um, a program that is fast um, and uh, based on templates it makes pinpointing vulnerabilities very specific and uh, leading to zero false positives. And um, you can also scan a large number of hosts. Of course, we can't always do this based upon certain criteria within bug bounty um, parameters. Um, the protocols um, within Nucli, they include TCP, DNS, H, TTP. SSL, file, who is WebSocket, headlines, etc. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to type in APT update, but sudo in front of that. You want to make sure that you have the latest updates. Prior to installing, go. All right, the next thing that we want to do. sudo apt upgrade like yes Once again, we want to make sure that we have the latest in upgrades and updates. This may take a few minutes depending on your connection. Rather than bore you, I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause and come back when it's completed. Okay, so once this is completed, then what we want to do is go ahead and type in go install negative vgithub.com. This here can be cut and pasted from the link that I'm providing in the description. Okay, and press return here. Okay, so as you can see, the link that's on the uh, on the website not working here. However, let me just point this out. As you can see here, it says command go not found. 
but can be installed with apt installed and that's this is the one that I did right here go lang dash go so you type that in and as a result it is proceeding now there's a lot of different ways to install go however I found that um, there's a simple way to do this and that's why I decided to make a video and I'm hoping that it's going to save you some time as well. Okay, so right here we have now downloaded the tools for Go. We should be all set. Okay, so once your Go is installed, then you can go ahead and install the Nuclei. Now, I wasn't sure if this system already had Nuclei, um, but just to make sure, I typed in Nuclei, or in Nucle, excuse me, dash H, and now it's telling me here that it's not installed, and then it's asking me if I want to. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to type in yes, and then at this point, you are going to see that it is proceeding with the install. Now we're going to retype in nuclei dash h and as you can see our nuclei is officially installed and so is go installed as well and this was a fast install and I hope that this helps you because again, I saw some of the install videos out there on YouTube and I thought it was a lot to do um, and you didn't have to go through that, those procedures. I mean, there was, this is the easy way to do it. Okay, so I hope this helped you um, to find a fast way and an easy way to install Go as well as nuclei, as you can see, it's pretty simple, all right? You just wanna make sure that you're updating and upgrading your Linux first. Those are key because there is some dependencies here. And once you have that handled, again, it shouldn't be more than five minutes, all right? And um, as I mentioned before, one of the reasons that I did this video is because there was um, some people out there that were mentioning to me how difficult um, it was for them to install um, Go on their Linux machine. So I don't want this to be a stumbling block in using this very good program called Nuclei or Nucle, however you want to pronounce it, whatever. Um, if you like this video and it helped you, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel and like the video. And I promise a lot more videos to come, especially an in-depth bug bounty approach to using nuclei. Have a good one and thanks for watching.